What's well, going on, everybody? Come back. We're going to talk about Gerber pocket utility knives. What's going on, everybody? How's my outdoor crew doing? Like I said, this month's going to be EDC. Into December, it's going to be EDC. So I've got some things to bring you to show you to. Um, help maybe decide something for somebody for Christmas um, what I've got today is gonna be Gerber's what I call EDC utility knives now I've got you know I always carry a pocket knife with me all the time anyway but I do not like and it's always been a pet peeve uh, you know thing I just don't like to do with my knife is cutting oak tape boxes and getting that glue all over the knife and I have to clean the glue off so what I did, I bought this thing probably a couple of years ago. This is the Gerber EBA Light. It looks like just a regular pocket knife, but it has your basic, um, like a Stanley blade for one of your Stanley knife. Um, it has your standard um, Stanley blades in them. You take a screw out and you can swap the blade around or put a new blade in, whatever you need to do. It is a liner lock or frame lock has a frame lock right inside um, I have used this thing for years I mean years and what I like about it is you can swap out blades once this one starts getting dull and that kind of stuff um, but you know these blades last a while and you know if you you've ever dealt with the Stanley knives that you know those blades will last a while until you start really cutting into cardboard and stuff like that and that dulls them out and you have to swap them around i've liked this thing it has served me well and i care from time to time but i picked something else up that uh is pretty neat and i'll show you and explain to you the different um, options you have with this thing all in one little knife and what i picked up was the gerber pry bird that's the way it's pronounced is pry bird now the difference between these two this is 2.2 ounces this is 2.9 ounces now, yeah it's quite a bit bigger than its little brother but it has some more utility to it than that does that's just a box cutter that's it there's nothing else you know they say that's a money clip okay fine you can say that this does not have a money clip or a pocket clip per se it does have a lanyard hold and let's get into the options of the tools on this thing now this is a nail puller it's also considered a small flathead screwdriver or a large flathead screwdriver this is considered a wire stripper the way it runs you can strip wire with it also at the end of the day when you want to pop open your fresh cold beverage you can do that because it's got a ball opener then you have what they call a rope cutter here which I'll show you that that's considered a rope cutter now what it does is it uses the blade that's in here for your uh, standard utility blade and cut rope with it then you have your utility blade you have three there's actually yeah they call it three notches the first notch is to use the blade the next notch is to change out the blade and it's pretty simple you just pull this forward and it slides out turn around and put it back in and then when you get through you lock it up and close it now i will say this when i first got it getting this thing open at first was kind of stiff but now that it's working its way in it's getting much better uh, I've been carrying this thing for uh, going on three weeks now well by the time you see this it'll be almost a month the other thing I, I like about this because this is a pry bar you can use this if you get a box in it maybe has staples you can use that to pull the staples out uh, which is kind of cool too because it's all in one thing I mean I've seen people take their pocket knives and pull those staples out and depending on the blade still you can scratch your blades up with this you've got all that utility in this um, like I said as far as weight difference you're talking 2.2 ounces 
you're talking 2.9 ounces. Um, it is an OD green. You can also get it in gray. And that's your only two colors for now that they have on this. I think it's a winner. I think it's a, you definitely, if you don't want to beat up on your good pocket knives or your everyday carry knife, this is a good option to have in your pocket as a secondary. Um, you can do, like I said, there's several little options to do with it. Um, and I like it right around, let's see, we can look up the price real quick. Yeah, 20 bucks. You can pick it up off of Amazon for 20 bucks. I'll leave a link down below for you to pick one up. Um, I, I think it's a good, I think it's a good secondary carry option as far as if you work in a warehouse or something of that nature, I think that would be a good option for you. Um, it's all ABS plastic except for in the middle and I th it's all metal in the middle because this bar actually goes all the way to this point and this point. It's hollow, I'm sure, at some point in it. Yeah, it's hollow, but it is surrounded by metal. So, pretty tough little blade, pretty tough little box opener um, in warehouse work or anything like that if you're into that or have do that for a living. Okay, anyway, to summarize and wrap up, I think it's, I think it's a good little, little utility knife. Um, it has multiple functions on it that I think could help you out, you know, in a working environment. Um, even in an office environment, that would give you a pocket knife, for say, and um, pry bar, that kind of stuff, if you need it in an office. You know, if you don't want to go that big, you want to stay small, you could always pick up the Gerber uh, EBA Lite. Uh, the difference between the light and the normal one is these slotted holes in it to take out some weight. Um, but that's just a suggestion for you if you don't want to beat up on your, get tape glue all over your good pocket knives and stuff, pick one of these up. Like I said, links will be down below for this and you can go check it out. And I appreciate everybody watching. Be prepared.